Hey Junior Rangers, welcome back to the Rangers Act Show. Today, I thought it would be fun to go on a super special style of hike and journal about some of our observations along the way. What makes today's hike so special? Well, I'm glad you asked. Our bodies have special abilities called senses that help us explore the world around us. When we use our senses to gather information, it's called observation. Today, we're gonna to be using all five of our major senses. Sight, smell, hearing, touch, and taste. So come along with me, Ranger Zach, on our super special observation skills nature hike. Ever want to know what makes a tree grow tall or why a turtle wears a shell on its back? To get your hiking boots and a walking stick, come along with Ranger Zack. Come along with Ranger Zack. It's the Ranger Zack Show. When we use our observation skills, Hawkeyes, it's called using our sense of sight. When we look at something like this beetle here, what we're actually looking at is reflective light. Light bounces off an object and into our eyes. Our eyes then send the information to our brain and our brain tells us what we're looking at. How cool is that? There are so many interesting things to discover when you're out on a nature hike. But if you just look down at your feet or even worse, a cell phone, you're not making very good use of your hawk eyes here. Let me show you just what I'm talking about. Here's what your hike is gonna look like if you're only looking down at your feet. Pretty boring. And this is what you might see if you open up your hawk eyes. When we use our bare nose for observation, we are using our sense of smell. Just like your skin has touch receptors, our nose has smell receptors. These smell receptors can tell us a lot about the things that we sniff. Some things smell really good, like this white sage, and other things can smell really stinky. Here's another plant that's worth sniffing. This is California sage, and it smells so good, it's got the nickname, Cowboy Cologne. Yeehaw! Did you hear that? When we use our deer ears, it's called using our sense of hearing. 
Sound is created by vibrations in the air called sound waves. When our dear ears collect the sound waves, it sends a signal to our brain to tell us what we're hearing. And there's plenty to listen to when you're out on a nature hike, like leaves crunching, birds chirping, water flowing, or rangers act singing. Walking down the trail, what do you think of that? Look down in the dirt, and I think I've seen a track. It's got two toes shaped like an arrow. Look here, I think it's near, it's a deer. Walking down the trail, what do you think of that? Look down in the dirt, and I think I've seen a track. It's got four toes shaped like an oval. The nails show which way it goes. It's a coyote. Arrgh. Walking down the trail, what do you think of that? Look down in the dirt, and I think I seen a track. It's a group of four, and there's some more. We can track it, cause it's a rabbit. Boing, 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 boing. Walking down the trail, what do you think of that? Look down in the dirt, and I think I seen a track. It's a big paw with long claws. What's that there? It's covered in hair. It's a bear. Do you hear those woodpeckers? Do you hear those birds? It sounds like there's a creek nearby. Next up on our observation skills nature hike is our sense of touch. Our skin has receptors in them that can tell us a lot about the things that we touch or that touch us. Oh! Try to keep up, Junior Rangers. While we have the sense of touch all over our bodies, one of the most sensitive areas are, you guessed it, our raccoon hands. With these little bad boys, we can tell a lot about the natural world around us. They can tell us if a rock is hot or cold, if grass is wet or dry, or if a leaf is smooth or rough. Let's check out some things with our raccoon hands now. Don't use your raccoon hands on that one. 
It's poison oak. Remember, leaves of three, let it be. Sycamore leaves are really fun to use your raccoon hands on. They're fuzzy, making them soft to the touch. This special adaptation helps the sycamore tree stay nice and cool and hold on to its precious water. Ah, so soft. Are you ready for your Rangers Act fun fact? Yeah! Well, here it is. The sycamore tree has one of the largest leaves in North America. It's nicknamed the ghost tree because of its white bark and spooky shape. Junior Rangers, but I've worked out quite the appetite. Mmm, this trail mix is good! And now we're using our lizard tongues. And it's the last of our five major senses, our sense of taste. Did you know that your tongue is covered in tiny receptors that help you taste? They're your taste buds! Your taste buds tell you if something tastes sweet, sour, salty, or bitter. Yeah! And while there are things out in nature that you can eat, never taste anything that you find on the trail without the help of an expert. Just stick to trail mix. <laughs> Well, Junior Rangers, thanks for coming on the observation hike with me. As you can see, there are lots of ways to explore the natural world around you. So the next time you're out on a hike, don't just stop to smell the roses. Feel the wet sand below your feet. Watch a caterpillar roam. Listen to a babbling brook. And enjoy the fresh flavors created by nature. Let's head back to the ranger station and wrap things up. Hey Junior Rangers, welcome back to the Ranger Station. We learned today that there are lots of ways to explore the natural world around you. And a great way to document all your observations is in a nature observation journal. And today I'm going to teach you how to make your very own. For this project, you need some brightly colored construction paper, a glue stick, some twine, of scissors, a marker, some decorations. These can be feathers, twigs, leaves, stickers, pretty much anything you want to use to make your nature observation journal special to you. And a hole puncher. Punch, punch, punch. Let's get started. Let's start by taking a few pages of construction paper and folding them in half. Next, take your scissors and cut along the crease. This creates the pages of your observation journal.
Take a hole puncher and punch two holes through the pages. Take some twine and tie them loosely through the holes. This will keep all your pages together. Label each page with one of the five major senses. I see, I hear, I feel, I smell, and I taste. At the end, you can decorate your journal with whatever you like. I'm using some feathers, leaves, and stickers. And there you have it, your very own nature observation journal. Now all you have to do is go out on your own observation hike and fill it out. And until then, let's do the Ranger Roundup. This week's Ranger Roundup question was sent in by Hank and Matilda. How long does it take tadpoles to grow into frogs. Bye. Well, Junior Rangers, tadpoles become frogs gradually over time through a process called metamorphosis. And it all starts with an egg. Tadpoles hatch from frog eggs. At six to nine weeks, that tadpole will start to develop legs. At 12 weeks, the tadpole now has four legs and a little tail left. And this is known as a froglet. At 12 to 16 weeks, the froglet will lose its tail and become what we know of as a frog. I hope this answers your question. Now let's do the Junior Ranger Challenge. This week's Junior Ranger Challenge is to make your own nature observation journal. Take it outside and fill up the pages with all the observations that you make using your five major senses. And tag me in a picture of your special adventure at the Ranger Zach Show on Instagram. And you can be featured as one of our Junior Rangers of the Week. Don't forget, new episodes of the Ranger Zach Show come out every Monday. And it would mean a whole lot to me if you liked and subscribed to our channel. And until next time, Junior Rangers, there's a world of adventure right outside your door, so get out there and go explore. This is Ranger Zack and Pearl the Squirrel, over and out.